As part of my role with the Women in Automotive, I oversee the strategic direction of the initiative and implement its strategic plan. Women in Automotive was founded in 1999, so next year we will be celebrating our 20th anniversary. It was established by the Victorian Automobile Chamber of Commerce here in Victoria on the back of a need to really highlight and profile the women that are working often behind the scenes across the industry. Our remit is quite broad uh, for women in automotive, um, but our primary focus is to provide support um, and a central location for women that work right across the industry. In terms of services, we provide quite practical workshops. For example, recently we did a seminar on superwomen, which educated women on how to look after their financial future, because the reality is that most women will retire with nearly 50% less retirement savings compared to their male counterpart. We also provide scholarships for women um, at different stages of their career path, but predominantly to do with leadership development. And we also keep abreast of industry uh, research, understanding what's going on, participation rates, um, and embarking on understanding what's really happening inside the industry. I'm the Chair of Women in Automotive. I'm also the Chief Financial Officer of Frankston and Cranbourne Toyota and sit on various industry advisory committees such as the Victorian Automotive Dealer Association, which I'm the Chair of. Women in Automotive really sponsor women in the industry and raise their profiles and at Frankston and Cranbourne Toyota, 47% of all cars purchased are purchased by women. We know women influence over 80% of purchasing decisions, but what do they say about the industry? Unfortunately, over half of them report feeling intimidated because of that blokey environment. So at Frankston and Cranbourne Toyota, our goal is to have a gender neutral workforce by 2020, and WinA works together with us to make sure that we can achieve that goal. I started in the industry at the tender age of 16. I actually started working in a parts department and one of my functions was to make coffee for the boys. Now, I was pretty ambitious. So I decided when people would go on leave, I would learn their roles. Of course, I could only learn administration roles back then, but what I did is I upskilled myself and by the time I was 28 years old, I had landed my first management position. I briefly left the automotive industry to work for the Australian Securities and Investment Commission for four years, but the industry beckoned me back and I've always had a love for it and I would really recommend it for other women. I don't actually have an automotive background prior to joining the Victorian Automobile Chamber of Commerce. I was a business advocate based in Canberra and I specialised in trade and international affairs. Uh, I actually have a PhD in international business, so nothing related to automotive. But having said that, I joined uh, in 2016 and it has been a really fascinating role to date. My advice for women interested in pursuing a career in a male-dominated industry is to just do it. Be confident, have a go, and make sure that you celebrate your successes and let people know. But more importantly, the message I would give to other leaders in male-dominated industries is give women a go. In 2017, we were absolutely delighted to deliver our inaugural Women in Automotive Award. It was the best unsung hero, women in small business, and it was taken out by the most incredible woman who had overcome incredible adversity to make her business flourish. When I started at Frankston and Cranbourne Toyota in 2009, we only had 19% of women working. Through focusing on gender equality, we have now got over 32% of our workforce being women. In addition to that, we had no women on our management team and we now have six. 
And it just goes to show that when you put something in the spotlight, you can achieve great results. Leadership to me, uh, in any industry really, is supporting and empowering diverse talent to be their best. Being a leader in this industry is challenging those industry status quos and having a vision and clearly articulating that. I'm really proud of the fact that women in automotive is a, a well-oiled machine, that we are moving in the right direction and that we're actually gaining traction on a lot of the initiatives that we're offering.